hey guys welcome back once again so in this video we will see how to find the missing number so let's understand the logic first so find the missing number okay so let's consider i have this array 1 2 3 4 5 and 7 so here i will ask you what is missing number so your answer should be here you can see that already i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 6 is the missing number so we have to write a program who will accept the array and who will return the a number which is missing okay so after taking that means how we are going to achieve this so you can see first we will ask to the user how many number do you want to enter so he can write here one two three four five six number so he will give me here value six n equal to six and he will enter one by one okay in meanwhile i will calculate the sum of all numbers means or the i will add one plus two it will be three 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 six six plus four it will be ten 15 and 15 and it will be uh, totally 22 okay so after that what i will do i will increase this number n by 1 okay so now it will be n will be equal to 7 and you know the formula n in into n plus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 okay so i will apply this formula to get the sum of all numbers so here what will happen that so 7 into 8 it will be okay so it will be 7 into and this part is going to be 8 7 plus 1 8 divided by 2 it, it will be 4 so it will be 20 okay so what i can do i will finally subtract this subtract this sum value from this value okay so you can see if i am subtracting 28 minus 22 so i will get the 6 that is the my missing value okay so now let's move to the editor and implement this program so name it as missing number okay here i will ask to the user how many numbers okay so he will give me a value i can write here and n i will store in n only so number here let me declare n i need a array so that is going to be collection of numbers and let's define value as a 50 okay what i have to do right now i can write here one loop to get all the numbers okay so i equal to 0 i should be greater than uh, i should be less than n and i plus plus next i can get all the numbers okay so and i have to store in numbers numbers of i okay so let me declare here i int i okay up to here it will get the number it will take the number i need one more variable to find sum okay because as we have discussed here that uh, means while the, this sum we need to find means what number we will be getting so here after getting the number i can write sum equal to sum plus number of i 
so by using uh, writing this code i can get some here itself i don't need to write in another one loop okay next what i will do that i have to increase this value means n value by one so now let me write here n uh, plus plus okay what can i do right now that i have to calculate the total value so let me declare one more variable in total and here what i can write so total equal to n into here n plus 1 and completely divided by 2 right i got this value means say whatever i was calculating this value so i got it right now okay the next thing i have to do i have to subtract total value uh, some value from total so let's do it here give the semicolon and write printer your missing number is and here directly i can write that total minus sum right i am not calculating and in storing into a different variable i directly i am printing so let's execute this first one and let's see okay it came so now let me enter six sorry one minute Did I have done any mistake here? What kind of int n? No. Okay, let me execute once again. That is 6. So, I have to uh, start entering number 1 by 1. Sorry. Okay. You can see uh, your missing number is 6. I have entered all the numbers. So, let me give you one message printer. Enter a. Enter all numbers 1 by 1. Okay. So, now it will be meaningful. So if I enter here 6, it will ask enter all numbers one by one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So you can see here, your missing number is 6. Right? That's it for this video. Do like, share and subscribe. See you in next video. Thank you.